king who has chosen the queen herself, Miss Pia Wurzbach. Hello, Jessica. Hi. Nice okay. to meet you, Queen Pia. Okay. Here is your question. You've joined national beauty pageants and a reality show before. How would you say this Super Buds experience differs compares to the other, other competitions you have joined? The Super Bods competition differs in such an amazing and unforgettable journey for me. When I first started, I knew nothing about fitness. I gave up easily and I had no motivation. But because of this platform, it gave me a reason to challenge myself and to make me a better version of myself. So I am forever grateful for Century Tuna for bringing out the best me and the super bots behind me. Oh, back to back. Another queen. Pia words back. <laughs> Hello, Imelda. Hi, Pia. Okay, here's your question. What is your message to your fellow solo parents who are struggling to raise a child or their children on their own? Um, first of all, hello, everyone. I'm a solo parent myself. I got pregnant at 21, and I realized that life is hard until, you know, you discover the way out. Um, you never know until it happens to you, and I have so much message to tell them. I want to give back by sharing, of course, Century Tuna, canned goods, um, rice to them. At the same time, I'll teach them fitness because it's important. Our mental health, fitness helps. So for me, if you take care of your body, the mind follows. And right now, I'm so nervous, but I have so much to say. I cannot put it in one sentence. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> the queen once again, Miss Pia, words back. I think that bowl is filled with your name. Okay. Your favorite tonight. <laughs> Hi, Justine. Hi, good evening, Pia. Good evening, everyone. All right. How do you think winning Super Buds would differ from your previous experience as a beauty queen title holder. Winning Super Bods is more than just a title for me. When I turned 30 this year, I really vowed to myself that I want to thrive in more areas. And even if it is hard and have obstacles along the way, I want to make sure that I am living my best you ever, which is why I joined Century 2 in a Super Bods competition. And in this competition, I hope to inspire more people to go out of their comfort zone. And it's never too late to chase for your dreams, no matter how big it is. And you can inspire other people with your own story by taking one step at a time and helping them become their best you ever. Thank you. Morena, Morena has chosen from a queen to a king, Mr. Richard Gomez. Hi, Morena. Magandang gabi po, hello. Ay, magandang gabi rin. <laughs> How has your professional life changed since becoming a super bod finalist? Binago po ng pagiging professional. I'm a professional host, actually, not that professional like Robbie. Pero ngayon po ay ako ay isang host po ngayon. Tapos binago po nito ang aking buhay dahil mas natutunan ko po kung paano makisama at humarap sa mas maraming tao. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. Oh, Mr. Greg Banzon. Good evening, Inka. Hi, sir. Good evening. Are you feeling nervous? This is a completely different arena for me, being a voiceover talent. I always work behind the scenes, so yes, quite, but excited. Here's my question. Being a popular content creator and voiceover artist, how do you use your platform to spread awareness on specific interests and issues? The way I use my platform has been exactly the same way I've used it since I started. And I aim to always take it from a core of authenticity. This is because 
anytime you are anything else but authentic, people can always tell. In the same way that the mic can pick up when you're nervous, when you post something, they can tell when something is a little bit off. And so I always promised myself to use my platform in a way that is authentic to me. And so I use it to raise awareness for animal shelters. As you can see, I love animals. I also use it to raise awareness on things that affect me, such as mental health disorders and scoliosis and other such things. And I do it by way of example. Thank you very much. Thank you. And that she has chosen. Are you ready for this? Yes, I am. A primetime and blockbuster queen, Miss Marian Rivera Dantes. Hi. Hi, Julia. I'm Miss Marian. I'm a fan. Oh, thank you. Oh, here's my question for you. Yung husband mo ay isa sa mga finalist din ng Superbad this year. Pwede mo bang i-share yung mga positive effects and changes na nangyari sa inyo, especially in your relationship, nung nag-join kayo dito? I would say joining here with my husband as finalist is such a huge blessing. It's not every day that you actually get to join a pageant together with your husband, the love of your life. I've been able to get constant support from him and he is actually my fitspiration. So to have my fitspiration here in this big event, this huge opportunity to share to the world about my story, my transformation as a mental health advocate, as a mom to a one-year-old, I'm so happy that I, I was able to join my husband and have my husband here in this competition. Together, I, as someone, as an individual, I would say that I am strong, but together, I would say that we are stronger together. Thank you. Our favorite doctor, Doc Aga Mulak. <laughs> Sir Aga? Hi, Brooke. Hello, po. Magandang gabi sa'yo. Um, kung graduate ka ng marketing degree, bakit mo ginustong i-pursue ang modeling after mong natapos? I'm sorry, Bo. Could you repeat oh, the okay. question in English? Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you graduated with a degree in marketing. Mm -hmm. So why do you want a career in modeling after graduating college? Yeah, so I've always had a dream of modeling since I was a very, very young girl. And actually, since I moved here, I realized that my family on my dad's side are actually in the industry. And I really felt a sense of home since I came here. And I actually have been, uh, I actually have success. <laughs> I actually have succeeded a lot here, and I really wanted to take that jump. Because I grew up really shy and sheltered, I wanted to go out of my comfort zone and live alone and try out my dream. And I also got a job last week as a marketer, so I'm really excited about that as well. And I want to inspire other people to live their dreams just like me. Let's see. Okay, you have chosen, again, Mr. Agamulak. Oh, yes, that is you. <laughs> Sir Aga? Yes, hi, Kay. Hi, sir. Good evening, and good evening to everyone. Maganda, maganda gabi sa yo. Yes. So you joined the Superbods competition back in 2020 and also reached the finals. Thank so you. what made you want to join again, and what are you bringing to this year's competition that you didn't have in 2020? Well... I think everybody could relate to this, but 2020 was a really hard time for everyone. We were in a pandemic and we were experiencing being constricted. And this time I wanna come back because I wanna advocate for authenticity. As I have said during this competition, I came out as the first ever trans woman to be even competing in the Philippines in the female category. And that is something I'm proud of because we experienced so much rejections all my life and everyone, even allies and LGBT people, have been told no. But this time, it's time to say yes 
Yes to reclaiming our power and yes to Century Superbots that we can all be fit and we can also fit in. Thank you. Yeah.